It's a sad day in the Bahamas that you have such huge law enforcement um, here to make sure that Bahamians evacuate these places. But I can guarantee you, if, the, if all of these Bahamians inside these domes, Superintendent Green and, and, and Cash, they wasn't going to touch them. Only they touching them because they are Bahamians. We got it hard in this country, hard in this country where people got to find somewhere to go. These guys just came with the dome, and it's it's hard being Abaconians in the Bahamas. I wouldn't talk about being Bahamians, where you see in the videos where these guys grabbing me. I'm just standing up doing a video, and they're just a bunch of idiots, man. It, it makes it makes it hard. Uh, uh, people don't have nowhere to go, but uh, police are standing by. This is the biggest game in, in town. Everybody that's trying to force them out there, everybody has a place to go tonight. Uh, do they care? Do they care where these people go? Hell no. Okay. Making room for some contractor to suck up all the money. I try to say much, but it, it hurts. It really hurts me to see what's going on here. And I can guarantee you, uh, this is the Bahamas we live in. If all of these domes were occupied by Haitians, you all may think I lying. If all these domes were occupied by Haitians, neither one of these domes would have been breaking down. I don't know what, power, what kind of voodoo power the Haitians got, but they got power over the government. That if they were in there, these would be up there till Christ come. That's the state of affairs in Abaco. I thought they were gonna disassemble them, but they said they'd be on usage. So everything is broken down. As I take my, as I take a video of the demolition, and everybody is here, like high mills, taking a video of the demolition. Somebody saved their bed. I don't know where they're gonna put this bed tonight, but it's on the streets of Spring City. At least you came away with, with something, but you imagine the pain, the pain that is inflicting on these people that don't have nothing. They didn't have a place to, to live. But we have our chief law enforcement happy uh, that he could bring his, his team out here and to forcibly uh, remove people, either move on the streets in the car or spend some time in jail. There's a girl right there. Uh, she don't know where to go. She don't know where to carry her stuff. She ain't got no vehicle. Trying to get her stuff, but they're not turning into her. Uh, we hope nobody is in these stage sleeping because they're dead. That would be something for the bulldozer to roll over somebody and kill them. But that's the way it is today. On the 8th of sem September 2022. Right after. Right after our third anniversary this is what we got thank you thank you man uh, and a lot of people that uh, haven't got their stuff um, they heard the news that uh, this one young man had just heard the news that they demolishing things um, but his stuff already got demolished he came too late um, but everything that he owned 
was in the uh, dome and the first one to get demolished was his stuff. So uh, as hard as the comfort work and the first dome they demolished was his own. So you don't have a toothbrush, you don't have soap. He officially left, like the hurricane left all of us with nothing uh, because he didn't move swift enough or he didn't get the word swift enough. Um, now he's pointing to where um, his stuff was, but they're gone. And it's my girl left home. Green Turkey, Rage in Hell. Uh, but they ain't listen to that. Only body good is the bulldozer driver. He collecting a salary. What is a sad that you went out to work. He ain't had much. But when you came back, the little you had is already gone. It's a sad day all full with law enforcement. Um, everybody that has a home has a free car. They got government car, government housing. They got a salary every month. But these guys just got left. I feel sorry for him that he don't have anything left because the bulldozer got his host first.